All right, so I even went to go get the RSX inspected, and he couldn't because the OBD2 wasn't reading. Um, we took apart the dash, and we just found all these wires. Reason the OBD2 wasn't working was because there was this tracker that was jumping the OBD2 connection, and there was a bunch of miscellaneous wires, so we took the car apart. And yeah, now we're just gonna deep clean it because this thing is gross. So, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start with vacuuming out oh my the God, trunk and the back seat space. Yami's gonna get everything out, pull the carpet out so we can start handling whatever the fuck that weird stain cum looking thing is over there. So today is going to be the first day that I mod the RSX here. Been driving it for a couple weeks. Everything's been good. Finally got it inspected. But right back there, I got brand new suspension, coilovers, camber arms, lower control arms for the rear. So that's what we're about to do.
tomorrow um, I have to go out and get a tap and die set because for whatever reason the threads that go onto the knuckle are slightly stretched or not stretched but stripped out in the beginning. Did God strip them out or an unknown factor? I barely put the bolts in by hand. And then you zipper zappered it with an impact gun. <laughs> <laughs> I put them into enough thread. Cleanse your pain with some strawberries. <laughs> Chunkers in it. Jenga or Tetris? I don't know, but that one's kind of scary with the eggs right there. Six forty-nine. 24.49 The 60 waffles <laughs> 8 99 We got a house to feed Place your item in the tray Shut area up. Please place the last scanned item <laughs> in the tray area Come on Ivan Bro what? Yeah. <laughs> eggs, eggs Please continue scanning. Alright, so we just came out of Harbor Freight. We picked up the new tap and die set. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty set. Before we could break it a thousand times. <laughs> um, but now we got to go to AutoZone, pick up the one tie rod that I need, and then head to the shop. Alright, so we just made it here to AutoZone so I can get my outer tie rod and then we're going to be going back to the shop. Alright, so now I'm about to do the rear coilovers. I just finished putting in the, out, the new outer tie rod in the front end and finagled the way to put in the other one on the passenger side. Should work, still has the cotter pin everything. So... I'm gonna jump to this and then gotta wait for Carlos to do the last thing and then the, this car should be wrapped up. Alright, so I just finished putting in both the, let me see here, the rear coilovers. So all that I have left to do is tighten up all the bolts for it and then see fitment wise what I want to do with it. <laughs> 